name of the Lord. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening to your very nice sisters, mommy and daddy, as you are watching this clip. I bring once again grace and peace upon the word of God into your life from this altar of grace. We are coming into the ending of this new month, and the month is ushering on to another new one. What an awesome God we are serving. Scripture saying in the book of Psalm 91, verse 14, Psalm 91, 14, say, because you have set your love upon God, say, God say, I will deliver you. And because he, you have set your love upon God, I'm speaking to somebody hearing me this morning, this afternoon, this evening, because you are a believer who set your mind on God and you love God, God, God will deliver you from whatever that is holding you down, holding you captive, frustrating your efforts or opposing you. Because you have loved God, God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. And if you say because you have known him, you see, he will set you on high. I don't know where the devil has kept you. Because you have known God and the name of God. I pray that the outstretched arm of God will lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because you have known the name of God, because you have known the name of God, believe it that God he is who he said he is, ah, a rewarder of those who diligently seek after him. From wherever you have been kept, your destiny has been kept. Yeah. Your career has been buried because you know the name of God. Or your marital sources, marital bliss, your marriages have been kept. For wherever your destiny has been buried, your children, the destiny of your children has been buried because you know the name of God. God will set you on high in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will set you up. In other words, there is no demotion in Christ and in Christianity. In the life of believers, there is no demotion. There is no low estate because you know God, even though the devil has kept you low, the devil has kept you at bay. God say, I will set you high. I pray for your upliftment. Even as this month of August is coming to a head, and God is bringing you to this new month. Ah, the captain of the ninth month's name is called Abiesa. Abiesa simply means the father of hell. God will help you and bring you up, lift you up from abasement, from shame, from difficulty, from obstacle, from retrogression and regression. God will lift you up. He will take you to a mountain that is higher than you. That mountain is called Jesus Christ, the rock of ages. That is your position. From where enemy cuts you, God will lift you up. God will propel you. God will project you. God will push you to your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, because you have loved God, don't forget Psalm 91 for today. He said, because you have loved God, God will deliver you from the hands of your enemy, from the evil one, from the covers of the witches and wizards, from the plots and plans of enemy. God will deliver you. He will deliver your career, your ministry. He will deliver your children, your grandchildren. He will deliver your spouse, your husband, your wife. God will deliver you and He will set you on high. He will make you a show off for humanity in the name of Jesus. He will cause His name in your life to be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you tarry in the presence of the Lord, I said, don't forget that whatever that comes from the mouth of God concerning you, no demon can erase it. No demon can obstruct it. Every obstacle before you, I pull them down. I pull them down. The month of September will bet miracles, signs and wonder for you and your entire household in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everywhere you are yearning and longing for testimony, this month you will testify about the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. Go and prosper and come back with testimony. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. But I come your way again. Tie in this present. It's just as well with you in Jesus' name. God bless.